Hey guys, welcome back here to the our review of the Garmin uh, Echo Map UHD 93 SV and the Helix 7 uh, from Humminbird. So let's look at one of the, I would say one of the first major differences, something that really drew me into the Garmin here, is the mapping features. So this Garmin 93 SV comes with maps and all the depths and everything loaded in there for pretty much the entire United States. It's all loaded in. Um, it has almost every single one of my local lakes on there. Um, here we're in simulation mode, so it doesn't really show us here. Um, I'm not really sure exactly where we are even. I think it's showing... Yeah, that's probably why it's not showing the uh, US maps, because it's not showing us in the United States, which is kind of strange. But, um, so yeah, this one comes with all those pre-loaded. Uh, I didn't have to buy any card or anything extra, uh, which is fantastic. But over here on the Humminbird, it doesn't really come with anything preloaded much at all. Um, it's got a couple like really simple like local maps. Um, it might show you maybe the biggest map in your area, and it won't really have a whole lot of those um, depth lines on it. But um, so this one's super limited. You have to buy the extra card that goes into the side here that has. Oh, actually, it's right here. You have to buy the extra card for your state or your region. And those just add up to be quite a bit. It's about hundred bucks or more per card. And if you change to a different area of your country or um, you know, if you're kind of traveling with that, then you have to have multiple cards for multiple areas. And that just adds up, you know, the price plus even those cards do not have all of the maps for all of the local lakes that the Garmin does. So you have to buy it with this one and there's not even as many. So that is a definite win for the Garmin over the common bird for sure.